hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to another past HSC exam question videos. We're going to do this video and cover this question, which comes from the evidence of evolution chapter. Well, in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you have about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And then when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So there's two parts to this question. The first one says, so it's A, name one technology that could be used to establish evolutionary relationships. And that's worth one mark. And then part, part B was explain how the data revealed by this technology can be used to establish evolutionary relationships. That's worth two marks. And so pause the video and attempt the question, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. Welcome back. Right, so for the first one, it's obviously it's worth one mark, and all it asks you to do is it asks you to name. So in this case, you just have to name one technology that could be used to establish evolutionary relationships. And the example I gave was DNA sequencing technology. Right, so just mentioning that, already gets you one mark. So it's one mark here. That's your max for this question. And the second part was explain, that's the verb here used, how the data revealed by this technology can be used to establish evolutionary relationships. So what you should first write about is you know, what exactly this data is and how it gets this data. So brief description of how the technology actually works. And then how I can use that data. The second part is how I can use that data to establish your evolutionary relationships. And so the first part I did was I wrote DNA molecules from two different species are heated and separated into their individual strands. Then re recombine to form a new hybrid DNA molecule of both species. This is the first part, just a quick description of what's actually happening. So the data we're getting at the moment, so that what we've done is we've just made this hybrid. And then what I wrote is the amount of correct base pairing within the hybrid DNA molecule is observed. So this is our actual data. This is what we're looking at. Our data is how much correct base pairing there is within the hybrid DNA molecule. So these two together would get you a mark. And then what we still have to write, obviously, talk about the actual relationships, how that can help us to establish our relationships. And that's what I wrote here. We've got a high amount of correct base pairing suggests that the two species are closely related. So if we have high amounts of correct base pairing, that means that they're close related, whereas a low amount of base pairing suggests that the species are distantly related. So you should make sure you write about in a letter what happens, like what has to be the data for them to be close related and distantly related. So this will get your mark as well. And that's your two marks of two. We've explained, we've quickly described the technology and what data we get, what kind of data we get, and then how we can use that data to actually observe the evolutionary relationships. And where did this question come from? It came from this dot point here. So the dot point says, students will use available evidence to analyze, that's the verb given, using a named example. So it says that's why we need to know the actual technology. How advanced in technology have changed scientific thinking about evolutionary relationships. So because this dot point, what analyze includes example. So explain, the verb explain is included in that verb analyze. Analyze is a higher order verb, which means it actually includes explain. So that's why they can ask you to explain. But they say a named example, which is why they can ask you for a specific technology. And they also ask you to talk about the link between the evolutionary relationships, which was that second part. Explain how data revealed by this technology can be used to establish evolutionary relationships. So that was the actual dot point itself. So this, all these A and B parts come from this dot point. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.